what is good you guys it's your boy Dom coming at you with a new video and happy 2023 this is a new year everyone so anyway i hope you guys are doing okay today as per this video is the one year anniversary of when i had started blender and as you can see i started off just like with everyone else creating a donut so i encourage you guys if you haven't to check out blender guru's video on how to make a donut and so fast forward learning how to create the donut and learning how to do lighting and rendering and in this case i'm actually rendering it in real time which was a mind-blowing experience for the you know for the most part because i used to work with cinema 4d and that was my background and so doing this really did help me in terms of 3d 2d design um, I incorporate 2D designs in 3D. So making the shift in Blender was a no-brainer in terms of lighting, in terms of bloom, and just how it looks overall. And so I've tried that with commissions and artworks. And then fast forward to my pride and joy, one of the first figures that I've actually decided to go full 3D on was Mega Man or a fusion of Mega Man and Sora. This one was a labor of love. I had to really use shapes because I wasn't really secure in creating body parts as of yet. And what I mean by that is at this stage in time, I was very much not used to combining objects. I was so used to posing figures with joints, but meshing joints and figures together was a process and that was something i had to learn here here's a little cringy look at his eyes this is one of the first things i've learned in blender was to do uv mapping which is a unknown language to me unwrapping the model first and foremost and then coloring the eyes and as a result of that you have these weird looking eyes so yes it co it is covering the mouth though i did that all on purpose and i think in this one I really was proud of myself for doing this one. Before I go further, I want to really talk about the importance of topology. And again, this is just for people who are just starting out in Blender or who are interested in trying to learn Blender. For me, I have had interior design background, so topology wasn't something very necessary. In this case, here is an example of outlines. But the importance to simplify your objects in the realm of topology is very very important and what i mean by topology is in order to have outlines right or control of uv mapping let's say or let's say the rigging or animation you have to have your models consist of good topology and so learning topology for me was a process it took a long time for me to wrap my head around it obviously i was experimenting on objects but here i am here and I made a tutorial about this, about how to make outlines. And obviously, there are objects here that don't have good topology. And this is just an experimentation. But here is an example of the outlines. And really trying to play around, see what I can get away with. Obviously, now I would not make something like this. And it's, it's interesting that I'm looking back at this. And there are some, like good examples of outlines as you can see in the pants there i just love how bold the line work is and here also was the first time that i actually implemented grease pencil grease pencil was a totally new and foreign idea to me but i i really love the aspect of drawing on the models so moving forward i took a little bit of some risk in creating uh, 3d pieces and i really wanted to shift away from drawing and I wanted to concentrate on full 3D presentation. And so, shouts out to Totem. Um, I was lucky enough to experiment while doing his commissions on outlines, as you can see here, drawing outlines and then using grease pencil. And really, my whole focus was to try to find a seamless solution in creating that style. And so, for the most part, have I reached it? No, of course not. 
is there still room for improvement and room for research and experimentation absolutely and so going forward i, I kind of stopped doing it because i wanted to go full 3d i wanted to go and focus on full 3d artworks instead of just 3d and then draw over it i decided to just say okay i'm just gonna go and try this so here is one of my favorite pieces of last year batman beyond with a fusion of hatsuma from shinobi i love shinobi this was so cool and so fun to do and one of the very first pictures that i actually did a solo without any 2d lines work so and here's another example here and this kind of advocates what i was saying earlier with showing just the, the 3d in its raw form without any 2d lines so that was a fun one and enter animation in the realm of animating in blender my background is c4d blender was so easy to understand in terms of animating and moving the camera and creating output in regards to your renders and of course i can't forget about the fact that elden ring came out last year elden ring was a very important game because blyde who is a wolf a man slash wolf was introduced in that game an amazing game game of the year last year so i couldn't go without drawing some proper fan art of my boy blyde so so going back to 3d this was another one of my pride and joys this one in particular was a very special piece for me because roxas is my favorite kingdom hearts character and if you don't know me by now I, I i love kingdom hearts i love final fantasy and this one was created first in c4d and for the most part at this point in time i use blender to just project lights produce the the setting make everything more seamless in terms of color because i loved how it displayed color shades light skin tone and so Blender was my source of outputting graphics. I would create the graphics in C4D and I would go and make the shift to the Blender. And so all that said, my very first 3D commission shouts out to uh, Must Kill. He was the one that reached out to me. And this was my first 3D job last year. And I wanted to do a really good job. And so I, I jumped on the chance and this one for me also was a very special piece trying new things c4d and blender were both used in the modeling of this character and i enjoyed making this character still and i really like it fast forward with all those things said i just started to just do the same thing i'm not going to show every single piece but for the most part just kind of concentrating more on getting my 3d works out and using what I used before and what I was preaching on last year in terms of reusing assets and saving time and producing more in less time. And so I was able to do that and then utilize Blender again, more so on the output, more so on the animation, just experimenting as much as possible. And here we are, this is a snippet of Ryu from Street Fighter Alpha and I wanted to make an homage and try my best to match Bingus's artwork but at the same time put my spin on into it and so I feel like that hasn't improved I think it's done what it's supposed to but it's not at the level of, of my satisfaction and so I'm going to do more research on that and learn more and my modeling also has improved thanks to Blender learning how to grab a hold of topology eventually getting into the jump into animation and so doing these pieces even though i like them i still think that they can be improved at the end of the day and here's finn and nox nox and finn were basically introductions to original characters that i created last year and i wanted to make figures of both of them and it's funny because the more that I did these things and the more that I posted these things online I started to get comments of when is this figure gonna come out when am I going to purchase this when is this going to release are you going to make figures are you going to make STLs and by this time I was ready to go okay 
there's crisis core i want to make a mural for crisis core and instead of drawing it i said okay i'm just gonna go ham sandwich and do a 3d mural and hence what you see here and if you haven't already check out the mural process of crisis core full 3d so much pressure in so little time but i managed to do it and it, and it was what, probably one of my my best accomplishments but going back to what i was saying in regards to figures i have to focus this year on figures one of the things that i want to get a hold of is setting up these models so that way they're prepared and not looking crazy for 3d printing because i kid you not if i see another comment of I want to buy figures I'm just gonna go crazy because what that means is that I have to I have to attend to the demand <laughs> of this when I used to do drawings I would just be so used to producing them at a fast rate but now that I'm able to get somewhat up there with 3d and the demand for figurines it's not something that I that that I'm well informed of but it's something that I have to try to do. And I don't mean to repeat myself, but that's a focus this year as I'm going through Blender. And it's thanks to Blender that I'm able to produce these videos, as you can see here, and make this 3D mural for Crisis Core possible, which is, uh, I'm just, sometimes I look back and I'm like, I can't believe I was able to finish all of this in a short amount of time. But all that to say is that figures, animation, and rigging are the main goals that I want to do this year. Um, I believe last year was just really me going full force on 3D, but now I have to be more conscious of going to the next step. It's really thanks to Blender, and I encourage you guys, if you haven't already, to check out Blender. If you are a 3D enthusiast and you love 3D and you're scared of Attempting to learn 3D, I would encourage you to learn Blender. It's free. There's nothing to lose. Everything that you have just seen has just been brought out from Blender in a span of one year. Yeah, check it out. Play around with it. Don't be discouraged. If you're discouraged and you're feeling like you're not getting anywhere, look up tutorials. Look up my tutorials. Look up how to do things because there's always a way around it. There's no such thing as one way. There's many ways. So you have to fit the way that fits you. So anyway, that's it. That's my Blender journey, if you will. And I had fun. This piece here was one of the, the last pieces I did in Blender. And I tried to go ham sandwich on the textures and whether or not I did a good job. I'll look back at the end of this year and and tell you what I think. But that's it, guys. Thank you to my Patreons. I'll catch you on the next one. Much love. Peace. Knew I could be my only this far enough just to see life at Clarence. Wolf's howling at the moon. You like to seek with weapon. Don't you dare come near me. Gather strength.